we're going to start transvaginal aspiration where we put the uh, vaginal probe in the vagina with the biopsy guide attached to it. Once we get in the vagina, we look around quickly to uh, identify both ovaries and the follicles on each ovary. Then we insert a aspirating needle through the biopsy guide. On the ultrasound screen, there's a dotted line and the aspirating needle will always come down that dotted line. The tip of the aspirating needle is echogenic, so we should be able to see it on the uh, ultrasound machine. The thick white band at the top of the uh, ultrasound picture is the vaginal wall which the needle will pass through. Generally for these procedures the patient is under conscious sedation. If we look carefully we'll see a little indentation of the vaginal wall and then we'll see the needle pass through and the follicle will collapse. The sound you're hearing is the uh, suction machine that creates a gentle suction which causes the follicles to collapse as the fluid is sucked in and collected in a tube. We'll systematically go around and aspirate each follicle. Each follicle should have one egg in it, so if we're aspirating more than one follicle at a time, we may have two to three eggs in each tube. You should be able to very nicely see the needle passing into the follicle and then the follicle collapsing. We do this until we recover all the follicles on the ovary and then we switch over to the other ovary recover all the follicles from there. We then hand the fluid off to our embryologist who's uh, in the next room through a small little window and he looks for each egg. Once he recovers all the eggs he puts them in insemination media and puts them in the incubator and checks in five to six hours for maturity and then they undergo insemination either by putting sperm directly into the dish or by ICSI where a single sperm is injected into a single egg. This is the conclusion of the video on transvaginal aspiration of eggs.